Hello, this is Jason P. Wilson Zero in X Force, and it is good to be back. Uh, this is my second of my new videos, and uh, I have not been able to post up until now. I've been in transition, but I am back, and uh, this is my special Avengers vs. X Men posting. So these are all the comics that I have uh, picked up that have to do with Avengers versus X-Men. I've actually, uh, obviously I'm not picking up all the side stuff. I pick, I'm keeping with the main books that have already been, been picking up that are connected. And um, of course the main series and then the second like fighting series. Um, and then here or there I'll pick up um, an issue maybe that I think was, or hear, heard was pretty good that I want to pick up. Um, but to get the full, complete, you know, every side story, I'll, I'll just pick it up on trade. Um, but first up here for my Avengers uh, vs. X-Men um, postings is... Now again, it's been a while since since these new postings that I put up. But uh, I'm back and I'll be posting uh, weekly again. So uh, first here is the Versus. Now obviously this is not the main series. Uh, this is kind of a second main series. It's basically what happens in between what's going on in the main series. Um, they're only on number two of six, where the main series is already on round four. Now, a lot of times, uh, these secondary series aren't necessary, but I have to say this one is. Um, it's action. It's all action. And that, that, that's a good thing. Uh, both these issues were really strong. Um, and after you know reading um, the rounds, rounds one through four, uh, I was definitely glad that I was reading this um, at the same time. It was like stuff that I wanted to happen in the main series happened in these pages. So I definitely say if you're only going to be picking up the main series, you're really going to have to go ahead and pick up this secondary series as well. I know I hate it when, when they do that too, but this one is really good again it's all action you're not going to get a lot of the story that you're getting in the main series but you already have that in the main series so this is just more of of the good action just excellent stuff definitely strong, strongly recommend uh, picking this up now don't pick this up by itself you at least need to be having the the main se uh, series so speak of the main series um, now again uh, definitely you want to be getting the zero issue now a lot of times zero issues don't matter but obviously collectors uh, usually always pick up um, those series um, but in this case I think the zero issue was good again it's, it's, it's really small I guess if you're going to be picking up the trade you can go ahead and wait but I really like picking up Zero Issues, especially when, when they're done well. Even though this is really just a prequel, it's setting up for the events, I still enjoyed reading it. Again, I'm not going to have any spoilers in this. Uh, this is the type of series that you really don't want spoilers on. Um, so far, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, for the most part, people that I think should win have won. Um, a few question marks here. Some of the uh, verses uh, were questionable. They made sense. Uh, for instance, Namor versus the Thing, right? Um, uh, look, I'm a big X-Men fan, and I'm also an Avengers fan. Um, even though I read mostly X-Books, I'm kind of seeing the Avengers perspective here. Um, again, let me switch covers. Uh, here is uh, two and three. But I seem to really identify with, um, even though my favorite, you know, m most stuff I read is X stuff. Again, I'm really seeing Avengers side. Both sides are, are right, and both sides are kind of wrong. So it, it, obviously that's something that they were going to do. Um, but like I was saying, um, like the thing versus Namor, um, I'm a big, big X fan, read all X books, but... I was really don't like Namor. I think he's a total um, self, 
righteous, you know, jerk. And uh, Thing is a real nice guy, even though he's got an attitude. Uh, now that's really, you know, when you think about that, you're like, well, that's a really weird fight to have. Well, yeah, it kind of is, but if you've been reading um, X-Men or Fantastic Four, you know there's some bad blood bet between those two, so it was something they really needed to do. Um, also, if you've been reading the Magneto Not a Hero story, you know the beef that uh, Magneto and Iron Man have. I was actually really pleased with that fight. It's exactly the way I think it should have gone. Um, excellent. This is, uh, so far, uh, a summer event that I'm really enjoying. Um, the last event that I enjoyed this much is probably Spider Island. I did like that quite a bit, and I was surprised. This one I was really hoping to like. I wasn't surprised that I was liking it. I was just glad. Um, it's not quite Second Coming, which I still think is one of the best uh, event books ever to be produced. But, it, you know, it's still early. We're on number four. Uh, unlike Fear Itself, though, I'm really um, enjoying the heck out of this. And uh, even though I'm not picking up really hardly any of the side stuff, just the stuff I normally get, with a few exceptions, um... I have to say, I'm really enjoying this main series. Again, you really got to pick up that Versus series as well. Um, this is the main series and the one I showed first, uh, the Versus series. Those together, I think, are really important. Uh, but so far, they're doing a really uh, good job, and I'm enjoying it. Okay, next up are... The series that I've been picking up, um, I'll go ahead and do some quick reviews. We'll start with one of my favorite ones, and that's Wolverine vs. X-Men. Um, I'll quickly show, uh, Rick, since it's been a while since I've posted, a quick little review of these two, which aren't the uh, A vs. X uh, yet, though, you know, these are still really good comics on their own. Um, obviously, Wolverine and the X-Men is one of the best X um, out there. I would say it's only second to X Uncanny X-Force. But this is really becoming um, one of my uh, favorite ones. Um, the artwork's always great, and the stories are really original. It's kind of like what it reminds you of the comics that you used to always want to read. Um, they're fun, they're outrageous. Sometimes they're just really... Um, canny, you know, just kind of wild, and but it really works. The artwork, the writing's excellent, and I've said that before. But with issues number seven and number eight, um, the excellence uh, continues. They really haven't missed a beat. But back to the issues, the most recent issues that have to do with the Avengers versus X Men. Um, these are really good, especially if you're already reading the series. Obviously, you're picking these up. Um, if you're not reading this already, I still think you should pick these up. Issues 9 and Issues 10. Um, even though it's not necessary, like I said, you only need to be reading those, those first two that I showed. Um, still, if you haven't read, uh, read Wolverine and the X-Men yet, this is a great time to jump on. You're already into the Avengers vs. X-Men, you're already reading that. Pick issues uh, number 9 and number 10 up. For those of you who um, have been following the whole schism stuff, read all that, these are great issues. Especially number 10 here. When um, Cyclops comes and visits the uh, the Jean Grey school. So, uh, it's great. It's 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 mostly what I wanted to see. I cannot wait for uh, issue number eleven to come out. Um, but on their own, I think that they're a good choice if you want to look for a side issue um, of what's going on in Avengers vs X Men. Again, it's not necessary, but if this this is a great introduction for those of you who have not been reading this comic, definitely one of the best must reads of Marvel: Wolverine vs X Men. Excellent. Now that's that's no surprise. Everyone gives it praise, but this actually has been a bit of a surprise to me. Again, I'll show the issues that I have um, that don't exactly connect yet. I just haven't posted these yet. I've been really 
uh, lately been enjoying Uncanny X-Men. Now, I got it because I wanted to have both perspectives, both Wolverines and Cyclops, even though I clearly was on Wolverine's side with the whole schism thing. Still, I've always, you know, read X-Books, and they relaunched Uncanny X-Men number one, and I thought it was a great time to just go ahead and start reading Uncanny uh, X-Men again. And the first story arc and so we're good but i was really considering you know maybe i should not pick it up but i'm glad i stuck with it because um it's just gotten better i really love this artist that's on right now um i believe his name is land um whenever land has been the artist on uncanny x-men they've been some of my favorite issues um, I believe he did artwork for um, Ultimate uh, Fantastic Four, and um, the, I remember reading that, and I loved those pencils. I loved it, and so I recognized his artwork right away when he started doing Uncanny X-Men, and um, I started enjoying the heck out of it. Again, um... These issues are leading up to the Avengers vs. X-Men, but both, all three issues, uh, number eight, number nine, and number ten, uh, were absolutely great. Um, especially issues um, eight, and then the next one I'm going to show you because they're, they're the artists I was talking about. I just, I just love the way that he draws um, land draws uh and pencils uh period everything i've seen him do i just really like his style there's something about it it just draws me in um it's very unique and he obviously his art style really just uh is easily recognizable um in fact he's one of those those artists that i've been enjoying so much now that i really want to see other stuff besides x-men and besides uh, Fantastic Four Ultimate uh, that he's done. I enjoy it that much. Um, the art aside, I think um, the writing's very, very well done. And I think Uncanny X-Men has been one of those t titles that's just been getting better. Even though it's not quite Uncanny X-Force, it's not quite Wolverine and the X-Men, it's still a comic that I'm definitely going to have in my collection. And if I was only keeping a handful in my saver. This would be one of them. Um, that's how much I've been enjoying Uncanny X-Men, even though, you know, I'm totally uh, not on Scott Summer's side of all the stuff that's been going on. Um, I still love all the characters, and it's really good to see both perspectives, in, and I think they're doing a really good job with it. Uh, so now to talk about these particular issues, numbers 11, number 12, um, I would say these are probably even a little more important if you're just going to be picking up a couple uh, than maybe the Wolverine and the X-Men, even though I enjoy those probably better because of just I love that series. Uh, these are more, um, I don't know, the, I guess the style, the action, stuff that's going on. When I, when I read rounds three and four and uh, I read uh, verses one and two, um, and then I read these, they just all connected really nicely. You got a little bit of stuff that already happened, getting a different perspective on it. You know, that happens a lot with these side um, issues and stuff. But it's it's done well. Again, I love this artist. And um, the artwork was just perfect. Beautiful. Uh, in fact, some of the artwork in these two comics I enjoyed more than in the main series. Just, just some of it. But that's just how good uh, this artist is. Uh, the writing solid, and again, Uncanny X-Men has been a really nice uh, treat because it's only gotten better. So I, I can only hope they keep Land doing artwork. He, he comes and goes, but I would like to see more of him and more of this uh, excellent writing done by Gillian. Uh, definitely a comic uh, that you should consider picking up as, as the side issues for Avengers vs. X-Men. Uh, now, last but not least, this is actually a second printing, but I don't read um, the new Avengers right now. I've read it before. Uh, I know it's really good right now. I've heard nothing but great things about it, and the issues I've picked up were really good. 
but I figure I'll just wait and pick up the trades because it's definitely the new Avengers is one that I want to get uh, the full collection on trades. But I did pick this particular issue out when it came out in second uh, second printing, uh, just because I think of, of all the ones that I heard about, this is one I heard about a lot, and it it really has to do with um, Wolverine and. Um, he doesn't actually, you don't get the full conclusion of what's going on, but it fits in nice with all the other books I, I was showing you, especially in the main series. It really deals with um, Wolverine and his dilemma because he's both an Avenger and an X-Men. Of course, you get that with um, Wolverine and the X-Men issue number nine. But it was I just wanted to read more of that um, problem that Wolverine is going through. And because of the excellence of, of the series, I thought it'd be a great one to pick up. And now that I've read it, it, it definitely was. Um, now I'm assuming, again, they'll come out with trades that have all these collections in a nice, uh, neat bind. And that's probably the best way to pick it up, all the side stuffs. But if you're, real, if you're, if you're like me and you just want to pick up a few here and there, uh, these comics I showed you, in my opinion, are the very best um, of... Uh, of the issues that you should be picking up. But again, you can easily just pick up the main series along with the verses. And uh, those are my Avengers vs. X-Men so far. Uh, my impression so far is that I think it's well done. I think you can easily follow the series without reading the side stuff. For me, it's really important. I really don't like it when they make you get other books. And if you don't read those other books, you have a big blank. That's not going to happen if you don't get the side stuff. You can go ahead and stick with the main. But for those of us who do like to read side stuff, but maybe not all of it, um, the ones that I showed you were the best that I have personally read. Uh, so that's what I think so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to end this and, and uh, how they're going to uh, have this affect future books. And with that said, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.